If you watched my mountain bike trials for beginner series, then you know at least the basics of mountain bike trials. First, we learn how to track stand, which allows you to keep your bike up without moving. Track standing is a vital skill since everything in trials revolves around bike control. After that, we learn several different ways to hop around. Without question, hopping is what people think about when you mention mountain bike trials. In trail riding, you're usually jumping a log or over a puddle. But in trials, you're jumping forwards, backwards, sideways, in any other direction you can think of. We also learn how to get onto stuff without hopping. After all, there's more than one way to accomplish the same thing. And in mountain bike trials, it's good to have a few options for different situations. Once you get onto something, you need to get down. So we went over the basics of doing drops. With a little practice, you can jump off of things on your bike that you may not even consider jumping from in sneakers. Now, let me be honest with you guys. This series was really difficult for me to make because I don't really have that much experience with trials. In fact, I got a lot better at it just filming these videos for instruction. When I ordered this bike a few years back, I had just discovered that mountain bike trials existed, and it was clearly something I needed to learn. Without any sort of trial scene down here, the bike has largely remained unused. The gearing is insanely low, and it's really difficult for me to get around town on. When I was practicing and getting footage, I decided to take the Inspired Foreplay to the skate park, since there's lots of fun stuff to ride on there. But it didn't quite feel right to me. With the long wheelbase and low bars, it wasn't optimal for getting air or doing tricks. I don't know what I expected. It's a trials bike. It's not the right tool for this particular job. Nevertheless, I have a tendency to treat every bike I ride like a BMX. So the next series is going to be fun as shit. You heard me. We'll be doing a BMX series. We'll start out by finding a BMX bike for me and then cover the most basic foundations of the sport, including maintenance, skate park techniques, and even some street riding tutorials. If you're thinking about taking up BMX, we'll be covering everything you'll need to know to get started. In the first video of our BMX series, we'll be gaining some general knowledge about the sport and choosing a bike for me to ride in the videos to come. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.